Hello! Welcome to my web analytics tutorial created by myself, Andrea Short, for my company, Skylander Addicts and Collectibles. Many companies realize the value of web analytics, but they shy away from it because they think it's too complicated. They hear the word analytics and begin to see visions of complicated algorithms swimming through their heads, and they decide it's not worth the effort. In order to help you understand analytics, I've put together a presentation that helps explain the who, what, when, where, why, and how of analytics. To begin, let's start by defining what analytics is. Wikipedia defines web analytics as the measurement, collection, analysis, and reporting of internet data for the purposes of understanding and optimizing web usage. In other words, every time a visitor enters our website, our chosen analytics program begins to track them. They save data such as the time the visitor entered the site, what link or keyword brought them to us, how long they stayed on our page, what pages they visited, and the list of data goes on and on. We can then analyze this data to learn more about our customers and how to optimize our website. So who actually uses web analytics? Well, web analytics can be used by web analysts, small business owners, or anyone that's interested in understanding their web traffic. Most major brands utilize web analytics in some way, shape, or form as they try to improve their websites or their product, their image, their traffic, as well as sales, etc. So when do we need web analytics? Well, there's no right or wrong time to implement the use of web analytics, but the sooner you start, the better off your brand will be. Analytics will allow you to identify trends that you might not have otherwise noticed. For instance, say you're looking at a bounce rate of several landing pages you recently created. You notice one of the landing pages has a 95% bounce rate. Without the use of web analytics, it could have taken you weeks to discover this landing page wasn't up to par and needed some tweaking. So where do we use it? On social media? On blogs? On websites? How about mobile apps? Yes! Where you use analytics is solely up to you, but it should reflect your brand's goals. For instance, if one of your goals is to increase the number of Facebook likes by 10% in the next 30 days, you're going to want to monitor your Facebook analytics, or more specifically, your number of Facebook likes, so you know if your goal is being met. So why use web analytics? Or what's in it for you? <laughs> well, web analytics can help you successfully optimize your website which in turn could lead to more traffic and increased sales. Who doesn't want that? This means better brand recognition and a higher return on investment, which is something every brand is interested in. So how do we use web, web analytics? It's easy to get lost in all the available metrics. You can avoid this analytics haze by creating your own unique dashboard so you can focus in on the specific metrics that are important to you. If you're not sure what metrics are important, then review all your data. You can start by identifying trends. Trends are relatively easy to find in data, as most time they'll jump out at you when you know what you're looking for. Say, for instance, you notice your number of visitors spike every Tuesday. This is a trend. Or say you have a low bounce rate on your landing page, but a high bounce rate on your home page. This trend could alert you to the need to optimize your home page. Once you have identified your trends, you then need to create SMART goals to exploit these trends. So what exactly are SMART goals? Well, SMART is an acronym for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. Say your goal is to increase traffic. That goal alone isn't considered SMART as it's not specific or time-bound. However, if your goal is to increase traffic by 10% in the next 30 days, that would be classified as a SMART goal, as it contains all the essential elements. Next, you'll want to determine your KPI, or your Key Performance Indicator. This is what you use to measure the success or failure of your SMART goal. Your KPI is the metric that you have chosen to evaluate. For instance, 
Say your goal is to increase the amount of new visitors by 20% in the next 30 days. A KPI to monitor over the next 30 days could be the percentage of new visitors. Now for each trend that you identify, you'll then need to do three th different things. First, define an action item. This is where you explain what steps you're going to take to achieve this SMART goal. Second, propose a challenge. What problems could you run into? And finally, offer a solution. How will you overcome this proposed challenge? Every challenge must have a solution. Most of the sites we use offer some sort of analytics for free, although they are pretty primitive. Here's an overview of our analytics within our Skylander Addicts and Collectibles WordPress blog. As you can see, one trend that pops out right away is our decline in traffic last month. Now that you have a better understanding of web analytics, let's take a look at some actual data for Skylander Addicts and Collectibles. Here we are at the WordPress dashboard, which gives us a nice overview of the types of analytics that we can find here. You can see that we've had two visitors today and four views. Our best ever was 566 views in one day, with 36,191 all-time views and 232 comments. Right away I noticed our first trend, which is a decline in visits each week for the month of September. Our highest traffic day was September 6th. We had 238 views that day, which also happens to be the day we published our blog, post on the release of Pumpkin Eye Brawl in Canada. As we scroll down we can see they show us how our top post and pages, as well as our views by country. They have a section that shows our most popular topics that we've written about, with our number one, oddly enough, being news, while video games, Skylander Giants, ooh, and Skylanders are ranked 4, 5, and 6. They also note how many shares and follows we have, and at the bottom they track how many video plays there are daily. Now here our, our trend reflects no video plays, which isn't surprising, seeing as how we don't have any videos. But perhaps a good smart goal for us would be to add five content-rich videos in our blog in the next 30 days and increase our views by 25%. There we have it, a quick overview of some of our current web analytics for our WordPress blog. Now at your request, I've also chosen an analytics package that I believe would suit Skylander Addicts and Collectibles well. The package I've chosen is by Clicky and they offer an analytics package that can grow with us, allowing us to stay within our budget while still maintaining the appropriate level of analytics for us. As you can see, their basic package is free for websites that have less than 3,000 daily page views. They also offer a custom package for less than $300 a year, which is nice. These web analytics interface looks like. As you can see, it's a nice, clean, simple, clearly defined overview page. Um, they also allow you the option to customize your page, which um, that can be useful in, when you're monitoring specific measurements or if you don't want to get too overwhelmed with everything that they offer. Um, it's nice up here they work in real time, so currently there's zero online, uh, 64 visitors today and 105 actions. Um, they, they show your percentages outright, which is going to, again, quickly help you identify trends. Just something that could be useful to us. Um, they track your engagement, what content you've got, and how it's doing. So you can specifically, if we had our blog in here, we could specifically see, again, which blog posts are getting the most traffic, which ones aren't doing so well things like that. Down here you've got traffic sources. Um, you can go for direct searches or advertising. Go ahead and click on the direct traffic. And I'll break it down for you between your visitors, how many actions um, they took in, their total time on the page, bounce rate, things like that. And then down here they even they break it down for you as you can see. Which is really nice. 
again, too many analytics can get overwhelming, so it's important to remember to customize your dashboard so that it's not too overwhelming. They also have a spot for your goals, which is nice, so you can quickly monitor your goals as well. So there we have it, Clicky's interface. Now, there isn't an exact formula to follow when it comes to maintaining your web analytics because so much of analytics is personalized for your brand and your audience. There are, however, a few steps that each successful web analytics campaign needs. The first is web analytics are only useful when paired with clearly defined SMART goals. Identifying trends and devising SMART goals is an ongoing process, not something you just do once. Analytics can only be gathered with properly installed code. Check your links. Check them often. Make sure that they're working properly. Remember web analytics is a process and the results don't come overnight. Be patient. Keep working at it. Put in the time and hard work that is needed and when you start to see results, keep working. The process has only just begun. Finally, reevaluate your data often to find new trends that you can use to increase traffic and sales. That's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this tutorial has sufficiently explained web analytics to you and given you the knowledge to successfully implement your own web analytics plan. Have a great day.